Today, I'm going to show you how to turn your boring out of the box WordPress category pages like this and turn that into a beautifully designed silo page like this so that you can increase your search engine rankings and engage your visitors. This is Colin from Thrive Themes back with another tutorial video. And before we get into actually designing our silo page like I showed you in the intro, I wanna just talk a little bit about category pages versus silo pages. Category pages definitely have their place. In fact, I recently made a video about how to build a highly converting category page using Thrive Theme Builder. So I don't wanna say that category pages are irrelevant, but silo pages are definitely an upgrade in some cases. Here's where I recommend using an actual regular category page. That would be if you're just getting started out. If you have no content on your blog, nothing you're transferring over from a different site, you're better off to just start with the category page. Why? Well, when you're first getting started, you need to worry about building an audience, creating content, and really kind of getting your feet under you. I wouldn't worry about having a perfectly optimized and well-designed silo page. So if that's you, this is still probably a great tutorial, but you may not want to implement a silo page right away. On the flip side of that though, if you already have a site with a lot of existing content or you've started to really get some traction in your content creation process, then I would highly recommend you look at switching your category pages or adding in silo pages to your website. So if you're unaware, let me just kind of address what a silo page actually is. So I have a quote here from our SEO expert here, Viola. We actually did a course with her called SEO Sprint, and she talks a lot about silo pages in that course. So let me just read what she defines as a silo page and why she thinks they're important. Google loves structure. Silo pages cluster topically related articles into a coherent structure. This could include internal links, backlinks, supporting articles, contextual keywords, and more. I view this as just really wanting to make sure that you're having your site be in line with what Google really wants. Now, this isn't just about Google, it's also about organizing your content so you can promote your best content to the right visitors. It makes it way simpler for your readers to get what they want. And this puts you back in control of your WordPress website. Here at Thrive Things, you've actually recently switched all of our category pages over to silo pages, as you can see here on the screen. And what we've been able to do is take the years and years of hundreds of blog posts and hundreds of videos and really promote the best content and the content that really has the biggest impact on our new customers, potential customers, and everybody in between. Now that you have a little bit more background about when and why to use a silo page and kind of the difference between a category page and a silo page itself, let's get into actually building one with Thrive Theme Builder. Okay, so we're gonna start here in the standard WordPress dashboard page. And you don't need to be in Thrive Theme Builder for this. We're not gonna be into Thrive Architect just yet. So one thing here, you only need Thrive Architect Lite with Thrive Theme Builder in order to build the silo pages like I'm going to show you. So if you are brand new here, you don't have Theme Builder yet, head on over to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder to learn more about the product and get your copy today. And let's keep going here. So underneath pages, we're gonna to want to add new. And we're not gonna be under posts, we're not gonna be in the category page section, we're going to be adding a regular WordPress page. From here, title the post exactly what you want your actual silo page to be titled. So I want it to be build your online coaching business. Okay, next step you wanna do is make sure you publish the post. So saving it as a draft here, you could go into architect and edit it. However, in order to actually link this to the proper category page and swap the two out like we did on thrivethemes.com, you have to publish it. Once the page is published, click this little settings icon here, and you're gonna to wanna to check what the URL slug is under the permalink. So this is important because you wanna make sure that the URL slug is exactly what you want it to show up on. So in our case, it would be thrivethemes.com slash build your online coaching business. That would be the URL. So don't just make this a random URL slug, make sure you title this page exactly what you want the slug to be. Or if you can title it differently, you can obviously go in and change the URL slug here. So that's what you wanna make sure you do. And here we already have it set to what we want. So the next step we're gonna do here is launch Thrive Architect. Okay, so now we're in Thrive Architect Lite on my website here. And this is the default page that I selected when I was going through the setup wizard in Thrive Theme Builder. However, this is not the template we're gonna work from. In order to change the template to get into our different silo page ones, you wanna navigate over here to the change template button. And underneath the shape shift theme, you wanna expand that set. And you're gonna see seven different silo page templates. So take a look here on the screen and we're gonna show you exactly what all of these amazing preset designs look like.
For this example here, we're going to go with silo page number six. So you wanna just select it and choose that template. As you can see here, the original default page we just had is completely gone. So we didn't just add it in, we totally replaced it and now we can work with this here. So let's break this exact template down here. Now you can cycle through and let's say you wanted to use template number five, I'll just show you. You could go here, go to five, choose the template and automatically what's gonna happen here is just gonna change out template six for template number five. So this is how you can kind of cycle through and see which template you like, whether you want an image at the top, whether you want different sections, it's up to you. But for the sake of this example, we're gonna go back to template number six and build that one out. Before we go any further, let's break down what's actually happening here. So we have a headline here that we can edit the text. So we can highlight this, make it whatever we want, doesn't matter, we'll get into this later. We have some more headline text, call the action button here, main benefits. So we have just some icons or some text we can put kind of, you know, what's the main benefit of this page? We kind of have some tutorialized kind of copy here for you to, to follow along. So what would be the main benefit that someone or your readers would get from being on this page? In this case, it would be life coaching content, but more specifically, how in content about how to build your online coaching business. So we could do another subtitle here, another benefit title, more headlines here, and in the post list. So we're gonna get into this in a minute too. Another post list, a call to action, another headline, another post list, and an opt-in form then followed by your footer. So this has a lot going on. So you can delete parts if you wanted to, if you didn't wanna have this opt-in form at the bottom, you could simply just highlight over the section, delete it, it's gone. But we're gonna go back up and start actually making tweaks to this page. You can see a silo page actually come to life. The first thing we're gonna change here is this headline text. So let's make this build, let's see, build your online coaching business the right way. Okay, so that'll be the headline for this category. And let's see, take the quiz to see what type of coaching business suits you best. Can change this text too. Take the quiz. Okay, so you could link up a quiz here with th using Thrive, Qu Thrive Quiz Builder. You could do all kinds of stuff. We're just gonna kind of go through and show you what this would be. So I can change the text. I'm not gonna change the image for now. Benefit here, you could make this, you know, let's see, um, coaching business strategies. So coaching business strategies, and then you could put more benefits here. So it's really easy. I, I highly recommend not actually moving things around and changing all the layout of everything just kind of plug and play. So I'm changing the text. You could change the icon out here. You could also change the text, obviously. You can change the images out, but our designers spent a lot of time and a lot of research in actually putting these silo pages together. So I wouldn't recommend going against what professional WordPress designers do. I would just take the templates as is and put your own copy images and content in there. The next thing that we're going to get into is the post list element. And in my opinion, this is one of the most powerful aspects of the silo pages. It's combining a custom built, highly converting page with the WordPress content management style. So you can still take advantage of your categories, authors, posts, tags, all that stuff in the back end of WordPress, but really kind of put them on steroids and have them on a silo page. So this way that the readers can get the content they're looking for, you can promote your best content, and that way there's just not what I like to call a content graveyard. You have years and years of posts just at a blog archive way on page 20. In this way, you can make sure that whether it's five years old or five days old, you can promote the content that's best for your audience. In order to edit the post list, we're gonna pick this one here, and you just want to select it. So once it's selected, you're gonna see here on the left sidebar, you can either edit design or filter posts. So in this case, we're gonna focus on filtering posts. So I select that here. And if you're new to Thrive Architect, this is gonna be a brand new kind of page for you to see. If you have Thrive Architect, you've been using our product for quite some time, this is the exact same post list editor. So it's not any different in this version, Architect Lite, than it would be in the full version of Architect. So I'm just gonna walk through this here. You have custom query and related posts. So under custom query, you have the option to add a new rule. And you could kind of just show the default here, date published, descending, so you could do date modified, published, title, author, etc. You could do descending or ascending, and you can choose how many you want to display, five, six, 
the number is up to you. Now, we're not gonna do this because this isn't putting us in control. So this would just be showing it from ascending or descending order, which kind of defeats the purpose of having the silo page. What we're gonna do is a custom query and add a new rule. So click new rule, and then this is where we can really start making some progress. You can do categories, authors, or posts. We're going to do categories for this one here. And we're here can do po display post that belongs to at least one or all the categories. So we're just gonna do at least one of these categories. Then you can choose the category. So click add here. And these are the categories I have on this site. So I've got business, life coach, marketing, productivity, and uncategorized. So we're gonna do business for this post list. Now that we have that added, the next step you wanna just save and close. So that is going to put these posts here. Now I'm gonna go back in and show you a difference. So we have the three proven ways to build your online business, how to simplify your online business, et cetera. So these are the posts we have here now, but I wanna show you how easy this is to change. I don't have to change any design, the titles, none of that. All I have to do is go back to filter post. I can change this category. So press the X here, add the category, and I can do life coach, for example. Save and close. And you see how these change. Now we have how to start a life coaching business, life coaching 101, why I should become a life coach, et cetera. So that's how you can very easily change the content that appears within this post list element on your silo page. But before we move on to the next one, I wanna just go over a couple quick things that are also inside the post list element. When you're in the post list element, if you click this drop down arrow, you're gonna have the option to do either post or page. So if I would click on page here, I could add a new rule and I could choose the same kind. So I could do specific pages themselves, as you can see here. So if I wanted, if I had, let's say an ultimate guide, like we have some of these on Thrive Themes, or it could be just a single piece of content that you publish as a page, you can also display that here. So you're not limited by just the posts and the categories in that order. You can even add specific pages right into the post list. Also, you can do related posts. So if I click here on related posts, this is gonna be much more broad. So you could do displays related posts from categories, tags, you can click all or just some, and then this is gonna be a little bit like less control, but you're gonna be able to do by date published or these other options you see here on the screen, ascending or descending, and choose the display number. So that's still an option, but I wouldn't recommend using that in the silo page part. That's better for a related post section on your site and other types of archive pages, but I wouldn't do that here. For here, I would stick to the custom query and choosing the content from specific categories. Next step here I'm gonna take is I'm gonna go through and you guys can just watch me design this in real time. So I'm gonna change the text, do some more stuff with the post list, and you can just follow along. I've gone through and I've added more content, I've changed the design, I've cleaned it up a little bit, and it's pretty much ready to go from a design standpoint. Not all the text is done, but most of it is. And what obviously with the next step here is you want to save the work, but before we get into saving, I wanna show you what this looks like on mobile devices. So here we have what it looks like on a tablet. As you can see, if I go back up, it is already optimized for tablet and mobile devices as you'll see here soon. So it dropped in instead of three columns, two and one, Similar with the post list element. We had four across, this one now it did two and two, but it resized your featured images. It also resized the text and the same thing applies. So here it did two and one, one here and the footer. So everything was responsive. And let's just check the mobile device here as well, the smallest one. We have a button that was resized. We have everything has the proper spacing. Everything is just one column down, nothing's crunched, you know, columns left to right. And everything looks clean and good. So as you can see here, everything was easily transition from desktop all the way down. You didn't have to worry about messing with it or editing the tablet or the mobile separately. It was all taken care of. So we're gonna save the work and then we're gonna get into how to actually make this silo page your default category page. Here we are back at this exact page. So I just press save and exit and here it brought us right back to this page. Now what I wanna do here is even though we're in pages now, we're gonna go over to posts. If you hover over posts, you wanna to go to categories here. On this page, you have the ability to add new category pages to your WordPress website, 
or you can change the links of where the actual category pages point to. So you have two options here. Option number one, you can leave your category pages as is. So as you can see here on the screen, we have business, life coach, marketing, and productivity categories that we've added. Uncategorized is default, but these other four I have added onto this website. So we could, for example, take the life coaching category and we can take this URL, life coach, and the default category page on this website can go to the brand new silo page we just built, which is build your online coaching business. That's option one. Option two is you can keep them separate. So you can have your standard category page and you can also have the silo page as well. So you don't have to have one or the other, you can have both. Now for this example, and for what we did at Thrive Themes, we actually made our category pages our new silo pages. So I'm going to show you how you can make sure that when someone finds your category page on your blog, for your website, they're always going to land on the silo page instead. All we have to do is this. Underneath the category that you want to change, click edit. And you don't need to worry about changing the name, the slug, any of that kind of stuff. What you wanna do is right here where it says redirect category to a page. So where it says none, you just want to pick the page. So we're gonna pick the page we just made, which was build your online coaching business and update. By implementing silo pages like this on your site, you can stand apart from the competition and you can really take your category pages to a whole new level. So we just built an entire silo page from scratch using Thrive Theme Builder. And if you wanna start doing the same on your very own WordPress website, make sure to go to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder if you do not have a copy yet and get yours today. And the next and final thing here is to leave a comment. So whether you're on YouTube or on the blog, make sure to leave a comment. We love interacting in the comments. We get tons of video ideas and it's the best place to talk to us. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.